Here at Scott Legal, we know the ins and outs of immigration. We are here to help you navigate the oftentimes complex road in achieving your immigration goals. We have new immigration videos every week. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and bell. You can also sign up for one of our webinars or get a free immigration guide by clicking the link below. Today we'll be answering the question. What does doing business mean for an L1 visa? Let's get started. The L-1 visa permits a U.S. employer to transfer an employee with specialized knowledge relating to the organization's interests, or a manager or executive from one of its affiliated foreign offices, to one of its offices in the United States. One of the L-1 requirements is that both the U.S. and the foreign entities must be doing business. If the U.S. entity is just starting operations, you can also prove that the U.S. entity will be doing business. But what does doing business mean? Federal regulations define doing business as regular, systematic, and continuous provision of goods and or services, by a qualifying organization. It does not include the mere presence of an agent or office of the qualifying organization in the United States or abroad. This means that just because you set up an entity in the US and or abroad, does not mean that you will be able to qualify for the L-1 visa. This is because if the entity was just set up, but does not provide any services, you would not be able to meet the doing business requirement. The most common scenario is, if both the U.S. and the foreign entity, sell goods or provide services to clients, in their respective countries. Let's look at an example. You own 100% in a consulting company in the U.K., that has been operating for 10 years. The company is successful, has 5 employees, and has revenue of around $800,000 per year from providing consulting services to U.K. clients. You also own 100% in a U.S. entity that provides consulting services, has been operating for 5 years, and has 10 employees. The U.S. company's revenue is $2 million U.S. dollars per year and it comes from providing consulting services to U.S. clients. In this case, the evidence of doing business would be pretty straightforward. You would submit each company's tax returns showing revenue, payroll, and W-2 showing employees, and lease agreements for the office spaces. This is the most common scenario for an L-1 visa, a situation when both entities are taking revenue from clients. But what happens if one company is providing services to another related company, and does not provide services directly to clients, or take revenue from clients? Let's look at another example. You own 100% in a UK company, and you own 100% in a US company. The US company sells products to clients in the US, but the UK company does not sell any products, it only provides services to the US, such as marketing services. One related entity can provide services to another related entity, and still meet the doing business requirement. This means, that in the example above, if the US entity is providing services to clients, but the UK company is only providing services to the US company. The UK company could still meet the doing business requirement. What kind of evidence should you submit in this scenario? You should submit service agreements between the two related entities. If one entity is getting paid by another, evidence of this, such as tax returns, bank transfers, proof that the entity providing services has employees who do the work, and proof that the entity providing services has an office space. To learn more, take a look at our resources in the description box below. You can also sign up for a free visa guide, any of our upcoming webinars, and Facebook groups. You can also schedule a consultation for a date and time that is best for you. We are here to help. You can contact us by calling 212-223-2964 or by sending us an email. We look forward to hearing from you.